There we go. Okay, let's talk to Buddy. Otho, I'm ready to hear them. Barathrum needs you for an undertaking of great importance. You must journey to Oman Porch, far to the north. There's the spindle. Oh yeah, right. Uh, the spindle stretches from earth to sky. Unfortunately, a troublesome merchant from the Consortium of Fighter has relocated there and declared itself Earl of Oman Porch. We need you to broker a deal so that we may lease control of the spindle. Failing that, you need to dispose of the self-appointed Earl. Be careful on your approach to Oman Porch, journey friend. So far east into the reaches of Kurt, the Putus Templar lie in wait. Right, things are getting dicey. Things are getting dicey. Who are the Putus Templar? The sons and daughters, as they call themselves, are an order of knights who claim descendancy from the Eaters, the ancient folk who wrought the chrome halls of Kurt. Beware them, for while they despise all mutants, they harbor a special malice for Barathrum. Take care that you do not find yourself inside one of their slave pens. Yes! The Putus Templars are the fascists of Kurd. What is the purpose of this? Will be revealed in due time. Okay, we're going to uh, accept the quest. And now we do have the quest to go towards the Spindle. Which is exciting and cool. Um, the spindle is obviously over here. So that's going to be fun. So what we're going to do is we're going to have a lot of jungle stuff in front of us. We might take a little detour to this. We can take a look at these ruins over here. Um, this is the Tomb of the Eaters. We're not going to go there. I've died in there before. <laughs> um, and I think we're going to... Yeah, this is quite a long trek. Um, yeah. Should we get some more water for the trek? I think we're going to get a little more water for the trek. Oops. Let's get a little more water for the trek. Indeed. Okay. Um, we can just sell some crap. Do you have anything interesting? No, you don't. Um, snakeskin armlet. We can actually get rid of these altogether. The helping hands are 504. Jeez Louise. Um, let's get rid of all of this nonsense. Being in motion. Sure. Yeah, that's enough water. Need to make sure to have enough to drink. Alright. In real life and in the game. So. What shall we do? We should go south, I guess. Uh, we've already been to Kia Cook here. We might take this little detour. We might do the quest in Kuya Kukia. Warden Indrix's quest. How about that? Um, let's go here. And we're not going to do overland travel for the water. Because that's dangerous. Yeah, 37 XP from the from the goat folk. Now the map posts still give us stuff. That's interesting. Okay. We need one more level up for demolish. So, any map poles around here? No. Okay. Zap, zap. I know that there are hostiles nearby, and none of them are particularly useful to us anymore. I mean, still 37 is not nothing, you know. 
Um, where are we? Okay, so we need to go east a little. I want to kind of minimize the water stuff. I think we have several Uber Nostrums at this point. Uber Nostrum. And we have two Uber Nostrums. Okay. Yeah, sure. So if we do get dismembered, I mean, that is also if if the map poles can get through our armor, which is not not a given. So yeah. Ah, I see the telemetry stuff tells us every chem cell, not even just the metered ones. Interesting. I wonder what else it does, but it tells us detailed readouts of stuff. Telemetric visor, yeah. With a lead acid cell. <laughs> I mean, sure, why not? We have so many cells, it doesn't matter. Jungle, where are we? Yes, this is right, so we're gonna go, gonna make our way south now. Hey, you, you're phased. Wait until they phase back in. There we go. That's 75. Also not a lot, but okay. Again, better than nothing. There's lots of goats around here. Do we have a boss? Might we be in the presence of a big goat man? Yes, we are. Okay, you know what? We're going to heal up just a little bit. And we need to eat something. Um, let's preserve, cook from a recipe. I think I'm just going to do the health thing again. Here we go. Eat the meal. All right, goat boss is down there now. Yeah, that's going to be no problem. Let's take a look at you. Um, Loved by goat folk, disliked by the villagers of Harappa. That doesn't really do much. Does have a fuller right longsword that we that we're not going to use, but you know. Okay, we need to reload. Put in the solar cell. Why not? There's lots of goats around, you know, like fighting a whole group of them. Still kind of useless, yeah, useless, no, kind of useful then. Okay, buddy, what about your force field? You're flying even. Can I get past? The f ah. ah, you know what, you... I, I'm not interested in dealing with another force field guy right now. Salt River, here we go. So, uh, yeah, we're just going to leave that guy over there. Murdered all of his following. What I'm gonna do is whenever I see a mad pole, I'm going to murder it. I also don't know what the Salt River Underground looks like. Should we take a quick look? Subterranean River. Uh huh. Are we going to encounter mad poles and stuff? Oh, yeah, that's just. Uh, Hello, Volta stuff. It doesn't seem to be. Doesn't seem to be particularly interesting. Okay, now well, let's go. Let's go back up. Another map pole here, though. Going to get lasered. Oh, the solar cell is not.
What shall we put in? You know what? Oh, we have three empty chem cells. Did I take my laser rifle apart? I think I took my laser rifle apart. Am I? You unequip. Okay. Wait. I think I took my laser rifle apart. I'm so stupid. I mean, it's not that hard to get one, but... Yay! Now we can run around with a Borderlands revolver. No. Okay, um, once we're in the ruins, there will be mercurials around and they usually drop laser rifles. So it's not hard to get, but yeah, now we are kind of, we've kind of hobbled ourselves. <sighs> For the time being, at least. Who are you? Barathor might tinker mechanist convert. Okay. Oh, we've been here before. Ah, yeah. we are in the in the outskirts of Kia Kukia. Mm-hmm. Full right plate mail. Wow. Full right armored. That is head, right? Yeah. Okay, we're gonna equip that for now. I'm gonna drop the what was it? Steel helmet that we have? Yeah. Drop that. The problem is that the full right armor is heavy as balls. Um You know what? I think we're going to stick with a reinforced carbide plate. It has the same. I mean, we could reinforce the fullerite thing, but I picked up two of them. That was not what I want. Three hundred and twenty pounds. I want to drop one of them. It's one sixty. Yeah, and this is forty-five. It's way too heavy. I think we're not going to do this. Um, let's equip this again. Yeah, let's not do this. I think reinforced cow I played is better for now. Okay. I mean, at least we have a full right helmet now, which is good. Brings us up to 13. Maybe we can actually reinforce that as though. So let's see. Tinkering. Mod. And we can make it willowy. Oh, that's the battle axe. Dagger. Full right arm. We can only make it willowy. Can't tinker with hostiles nearby. Um, you know what? How much is a full right plate mail willowy? <laughs> Let's see. For that armored plate mail. Oh, we can reinforce it and make it willowy. Okay. To be reinforced and willowy. Oh, I don't have the bits. Oh, we need photonics for that. <laughs> okay, that was. Not useful. Oh, we can still try it. Okay, we have... Um, because it's different when you don't have another thing. So... Let's mod the... Fullerite plate mail with Willowy. How much does it weigh? Just 40. Wow. And that's kind of cool. 
But reinforce and willowy, we're not going to be able to do that. And this is 45, so it's even <laughs> it's less heavy than yeah. Uh, but still, it has a higher negative dot value thing. So, uh, yeah, we're not gonna we're not gonna do a deal with that. But okay, modding fullerite plate with willowy is not bad. Do we still get experience for those? Yeah, 200. 200 for a slumberling. Here we are in the Kia Kukia outskirts. I can't believe I took apart my laser rifle. Such a dumbo. Okay, this should be Kia Kukia. No, this is jungle. Kia Kukia is north, okay. Here we are. Okay, you probably do not have a laser rifle, don't you? Steel shield. Scope to Borderlands revolver. I have another floating glow sphere, why not? So, um, raising Indrix. Travel to the Goatfolk village and find Mamon Soul Drinker. Let's see if we can get the... Uh. I think we need to follow some kind of river for that. I think it might be this one. Let's see. Let's do the Mama and Soul Drinker thing. I mean, why not? Yeah, this character has been really good. Also, just kind of a lot of unfortunate things that happened. You know? Just like nonsense. Still my best run in a while. Okay, this seems to be a good for boss group. Well, let's just take them out. Oops. Yeah, sure. Stop throwing your shit at me. Okay. Probably just going to... Good thing that I also took apart the carbines, right? I'm just... Just good decisions all around. Um, do we... Did we pick up a laser... Uh, a thing already? Desert rifle? No. Where is it? Did that blow up? Desert rifle, here we go. Yeah, well, let's equip that. We have at least something to shoot. So I think this must have been a boss group, but I'm not seeing any boss. It was just a bunch of goat folk. Could also have been. Hmm. Well, at least a bit of experience, I guess. Yeah. I mean, at least we have metric tons of ammunition, so. Also, another thing that I'm not too into is... my inventory situation again. The helping hands is 20, but I do kind of want to keep them. 18 pounds of books. We have 40 pounds of cells. It's too many. Okay. I'm going to disassemble a bunch of basic chem cells. Okay. I don't need that combustion cell. Um, I 
I don't really need the metered chem cells as well. Let's take those apart. I'm going to keep the high capacity ones. And I'm just going to disassemble five more of these. I could also just press M, which for some reason I'm not doing. Okay. That's this. We have eight pounds of food. Okay, we can actually... Yeah. Do something about that. Melee weapon. Yeah, we we'll keep those, I guess. Twelve pounds of this stuff. Yeah, let's keep that. Why not? The freeze ray. Yeah, the freeze ray is pretty good. Data disk. Tools. Now what we're going to do? We're going to drop the copper nuggets. Okay, we have metal folding chairs. Also, yeah, we just have a lot of water, don't we? Yeah, well, I mean, it's a little bit better now. Why did I? <laughs> I unequipped my Rhinox Skull Mall. And uh, killed a slumberling with my bare fists, which, you know, pretty badass in my books. Okay. You know, we're just going to follow uh, follow the river for now. Let's see what that takes us. This is a goat folk village. It's not the goat folk village. Oh, but we're getting there. We're getting there. Goat skin with kid blood. Yeah, right. We're getting there. This is where the the bad stuff happened. So the the amaranthine prism made that guy go completely haywire there's a bunch of flayed goat folks so i think we need to follow a little bit longer until we see the the see the smoke rising cook preserve fresh exotic no I wouldn't... let's see, let's... congeal self, huh? Choose ingredients, what does... I need to take a look at what congeal self does. Um... No. Cook from a recipe... I'm gonna do health. Health and regeneration, where is it? There we go. Cook, eat the meal. There we go. Oh, I hate that I've thrown away the thing. Ah, there's the burning. Okay, we're getting there. We're getting there. There's the smoke wafting over. Goats fighting apes, which is kind of business as usual. It's come from yeah from from the north. Okay, here we are. Um, let's see whether we can find that guy. Raw goat meat, charred goat for corpse, naftali corpse. Aha, uh -huh. there's Mamon's soul drinker. Okay. 
What do you have? Carbide plate armor, massive horns, wrist warmer, icy vapor, floating glow sphere. Okay, so you can you can use freezing hands. Stop shooting me, please. Okay. To get a few shots off from here. Oh, there I'm frozen. Okay, this should work. Let's see. Let's be careful about how much damage we take. Injured. Mm -hmm. Frozen solid again. Okay. Okay. Yes. Village villagers of okay. With dogs. Oh yeah. Dogs love us now. Um, another helping hands, okay. The Amaranthine Prism. Two floating glow spheres. And we're good. Okay, carrying too much. I think that's the helping hands, yeah. Drop. Do I have anything else that's stupid? This. I think we should drop the helping hands somewhere. Should not carry those around. Okay, bioscanning. We also don't need all those books, to be quite honest. Probably also stash them somewhere. Somewhere safe. Okay. Also... Ah, the, the cell is drained. That's why we, are, we have lost one strength. Um, let's just put in a normal ass chem cell. Okay. All right. We have the prison. I need to return the prison to Indrex. I think something. There's an achievement for uh, equipping the prison. But I don't want to risk this run, to be quite honest. At some point, I need to try it. Um, okay. So. Oh, we are lost. Oh, there's hostiles nearby, okay. Let's go back. Hey, Indrex, got something. I possess the prism. Give, yeah, we're just going to give it. Complete the quest step. Takes the Am Amaranthine prism. What can we take? It's all garbage. Nothing we need. Well, at least it's a bunch of experience. Okay. All right. Should we do a little stash of stuff in Kiyokuki? This is kind of the closest. <sighs> yeah, let's do that. Helping hands over here. West, I slept. We're going to drop these books. We have enough stuff that we can essentially still buy anything. I'm going to keep a Corpus Colis because that might be useful. But yeah, we have a stash of books here. You need to keep in mind that I have this here. Um, we can drop this. Food we need to preserve. And the floating glow spheres we're going to keep as currency items. I'm going to keep the weapons. I mean the full right weapons. Um, I'm going to drop these, all of them that weigh something. That's that. I don't need the keys anymore. Therefore, Bethesda Sousa. I'm going to keep the freeze ray. I'm going to keep that stuff. Drop a bronze ingot. We need one box of crayons. 
Okay. All right. This is better. Okay. So let's make this mold mushroom cider. Quickness, bleeding. Oh, that's also neat. That's good against fungus infection. Can we? Hey, buddy. I do kind of want to know that recipe, to be quite honest. That's going to be useful for the... Yeah, let's do the water ritual. Cragmanch went down here, yeah, sure. <laughs> the thing is, we cannot learn the recipe. From that guy. Get the mushrooms. All right, okay. Good. That's that done. Um, okay. I think what we're going to do is we're going to make our way towards the ruins in the center here. We're going to just take a look at a few of these. I think this is just a normal ruins biome. Um, and from that we're going to make our way north over here. And we could maybe take a look at the Deathlands. I don't know. You know, things are quite open to us right now. The good thing is in and around... in and around um are you gonna do it yes okay in and around the spire in the in the the banana groves um there are enemies that will give us experience so killing those will get us a good bit on the way to uh, towards level 30 so I'm kind of looking forward to that even though it's probably gonna take a while <laughs> it's gonna be one of these longer grindy power gaming sessions but you know that's part of a good run unfortunately okay well you know what we're gonna do I'm gonna go down here a little bit. Ah, oh, it's a fungus thing. No, we're not. Let's go north. No, nope. I'm just going to do a little bit of ruin stuff and uh, tarry ruins, yeah. And uh, then I'm going to call it for today. Let's go down here. No fungus, no fungus, good. All right, there's a robot behind the walls. Oh, there's another slumbling, good. Oops, ah, it's a traipsing mortar. Don't take the edgy missiles. Well, nope.jpg. What is nope.jpg? Island of ignorance. <laughs> the shroom biomes, yeah, right. I don't know. You know, pretty soon, once we are done with the banana spire. At some point, we will have to go into the big fungus. But still, whenever I can avoid it, I will avoid fungus. So many acid slugs. Quite an acidic area down there. That place in the jungle, yeah. Uh, the main quest will lead you there at some point. You need to search that for something. 
And it's just a big old, uh, it's just a gigantic fungus patch, but also with um, oozes. <laughs> it's like, yeah, it's not the most pleasant place in CUD, I must say. Well, you better have some of these anti-fungus anti-fungus things ready for that. You know cook with some plump mushrooms or other pickled mushrooms will usually do the trick should I go further here ah you know what nah it's not the most exciting thing let's keep going north um right right you know what Keep going north that way. Do some overland travel. The thing is, there's not really like the ruins here are not in any meaningful meaningful way different, unfortunately, than the ruins around Gridgate. So. I think it would actually it would actually benefit us if we just went yeah we're lost okay that was bound to happen um if we just kind of went north more or less directly using overland travel i think that's more useful first of all we need to regain our bearings again and there we go oops you are hostile, you are also hostile. Rest up. Ah, no. More goat folk. And famished. Oh, yeah. Okay. Cook. We are going to do this one. It's just a basic recipe for the time being. And let's go north. Okay. By the mountains. Blocked by the mountains. Okay, we need to. Oh, no. Yeah. We need to take a different way. Lost again? Hey, and there's a good folk village here. Is this a good folk village? Doesn't look like it. I'm lost, okay. I think the good folk village is somewhere on this tile. Slimy jungle. Hmm, how unpleasant. Regain your bearings. There we go. So we're gonna go here. And oh, it's a fungus biome. Hello, we're right in the middle of a fungus biome even. So let's not go near any actual fungus. I think we don't have itchy skin because there were no spores. Okay. No hungry again, yeah. Yeah, we're traveling, we're traveling. So we're going to go north here, over the Salt River. You don't want to do overland travel over a Salt River, because if you get lost in it, you might just get taken apart by mud poles, mad poles. So I'm not interested in losing any limbs. I am interested in murdering a bunch of madpoles, though, because that's one of the few enemies that still gives us a decent amount of experience. So, I'm just going to go through here, and killing them. The good thing about them is um, they are not very um, not very fast. So, they are pretty sturdy, but not very fast. Do you only want to? attack them with this oh yeah and i totally forgot i i wanted to look for another laser rifle okay well we're going to do that at a different point <clears throat> okay uh, now we are 
actually north. Yeah. Okay. And here we are in the banana groves. Right, and we have these things here, red death duckers, and banana trees and stuff like that. And uh, these ones we do want to fight because they still give us an experience. We've already fought a few of those before when we were in... Um, oh yeah, and the flies. RD. Oh yeah, that gives us good a good amount of experience. That is awesome. All right, Red Death Daka, banana trees. Mm -hmm. we go. Are you hostile? Yeah, they are hostile. So we're just going to shoot them out of the sky and get our 600 experience for that. And uh, yeah, right, strength up. And what we're going to do is we are going to get demolish. Oh, we already have demolish. Right. Sure. Right. I totally forgot that. Demolish B. Sure. Um, so we're not going to get Berserk. Is there anything of particular importance? Yeah, right. What I do want is Endurance. I want to get Callist. Could have already gotten that earlier. I think there's no use in getting backswings twice. Um, so we're going to do harvestry. Finally. Because I never got it from Joppa. Okay. Yeah, and what we could also get is like a few of these better ones, but it's not... Not a priority. Okay. That's one of the baboon thingies. And the gibbons, not baboons. Well, they still give us stuff, so... And there's these things. Irritable palm, yeah. 115, they slam you. But... Not much of a problem. We fought a lot of these things before. I totally forgot that these were the same things we we killed en masse in the historic site, actually. But you know. It's still a hundred and change, so. Twenty-seven were already. Yeah, nice. Okay. We might actually make it to level 30 with this character. Oh, there's a lot of baboons. Uh, gibbons, rather. I'm fine with that. They do... They are not hostile, weirdly enough. Okay, there's something teleporting around down here. Oh, it's more gibbons. I think these are... Um, Illusions. So, yeah. Yeah. They don't give us experience. It's just... Uh, yeah, stand for the turn. That's okay. We can harvest a few bananas while we're here. I mean, why not? But other than that... I think we're just going to go towards the spire. We can do this afterwards, actually. Don't really feel like just road farming off a map right now. But yeah, you can really use this area to make your wa way towards level 30. Like, almost anything. There's very few things that you can still murder for for good experience. And especially these flies.
Okay. The flies are not that common though. Uh, yeah, sure. Banana grove that's not building properly. Oh, it scares me when that happens. Oh, it's too dense. Stunt for the turn. Okay, ah, that's another fly. Good. Shoot that thing out of out of the sky. Get that 600 experience for it. So where are we actually right now? Okay, pretty close to the spire. Totally forgot how you needed to do the quest. I think we can do a... Um, I think there's different approaches that you can take. Can go and murder everything, but I think there's also other stuff that you can do. So... I think you cannot avoid the attack on Gridgate. I think that happens no matter what path you take, but yeah. Uh, I'm always calling it a spire, but I think it's a spindle, isn't it? Okay. Diaclyptus tree, Malil rod. Okay, that's a ruin area in inside the banana grove, which is quite interesting. Also, we're famished. So, floating glow sphere, another one for the collection. You find so many of these. Cook from a recipe. We're gonna do this. Eat the meal. Yes. We're also gonna preserve our fresh foods. So, we have sun dried banana. What is sun dried banana? What does that do? With so many servings of vine wafer. Artifact based effects to cook meals. Okay, we need to try that. Next time we're hungry, we're gonna try that. Okay, that's just an Arconaut here. Wow, a lot of stuff that I don't really need. Another Arconaut. Jopper recoiler. The guy had a jopper recoiler. Okay, there's a robot here, and I know I don't know what kind of robot, which is always a bit concerning. Oh dear, what are these chain laser emplacements? Right, I think we can destroy them. <laughs> Eight chem cells. Yeah, right. Um, that's way too many. Whatever. Can get rid of them later, but uh. I don't need that many chem cells. <laughs> I could just constantly use the freeze ray and deplete everything. Oh shit, there's a gelatinous cupola. Okay, we're fine. 700 XP for that. Okay, didn't see that. We're enveloped by it. And okay, there's another chain laser emplacement. Um. Okay, so far we're fine. All right, chem cell, <laughs> lots of, yeah. Ooh, rocket turret, yo, okay. I knew that I wasn't be able, to, I wasn't able to get away from it, so had to destroy it here. Yeah. Good thing it only got like one shot off. Don't like these diacliptus trees. Just 
block your movement constantly. Okay. Is Diaclyptus something like Eucalyptus? I wonder. Huh, okay. I also wonder what the underground beneath the banana groves looks like. There's some honey here. Okay. Ooh, is that an X slug? Yep. Can't have it all. We can have that. I think I just got the pun with can't have it all. It is a pun, is it? Oh my god. I am... Okay, X slugs. Not into that, because I don't want to get diseased. Ah, oh, there's a snail mother. So I cannot believe I destroyed my laser rifle. Okay, and that's the snail mother. Still need to be careful about X slugs. Okay, I think we're fine. I think I did not get any disease from this. Okay, there's no other way to get there than through this. Okay, X slug is dead. Whoops, destroyed the vase with the honey. Aha, we have a Taco Suprema. And a Fullerite Mole. Um, oh dear. No, it's worse. Oh, yeah, it's worse than the Rhinox Skull Mole that I have. I destroyed the Herberry. Did not want that. Whoops, Fullerite Dagger. Oh, we already have a Fullerite Dagger. Whoops, I completely forgot. Okay. And this was kind of nice. Alright. I think I'm going to be done for today. So, thank you for watching. Um, thank you for hanging out in the chat. And uh, I'm going to be... Yeah. I'm going to continue this run. Probably on Tuesday. So that's fun. Okay. Save and quit. Let me see how long this run is. Um, yeah. 10 hours. 10 hours and 35 minutes. Again, that's way longer than I play most games. But, uh, yeah, it's going well. It's going really well. Alright. See you around. Bye-bye.